I wanted to talk with you about a Netflix TV show called Alpha Males, or in the Spanish original, Machos Alpha. I really liked the show. It was quite funny. It was very upbeat and warm. Even though initially it seemed a little clownish, and I thought the characters might be a little too exaggerated, a little bit cartoonish, and unrealistic. If you watch one full episode, I think you realize that there is realism in the show and the characters are um, not uh, cartoonish, they're not caricature-like. It's a story that contains elements of dark humor and small tragedies, but the overall tone of the show is cheerful and positive, despite those dark moments. And the reason why it is positive and cheerful in general, the big picture, I think, it leaves you with a sense of cheerfulness at the end, it's because of the friendship between the four main characters, who are Santi, Raul, Pedro, and Luis, in no particular order. The story is not about alpha males, so these four main characters are not what you would identify immediately as, oh, that these are leader types, or <laughs> the people who are unusually attractive or unusually successful or un unusually influential in society. They are closer to what we might call ordinary men. So it's a story about four ordinary men, their friendships, their arguments, and how they are living through a transforming and changing society culture. Because of the transformations going on around them and their relationships, like getting fired from a job because they uh, the managers want to hire a woman. Or similarly, they might feel like they don't have enough power over their romantic relationships or they might feel they're not attractive enough or they don't have enough sexual prowess or competence. And it could be anything but it ends up happening what they share in common is that they're all questioning themselves, they're all facing challenges and those challenges and all the questioning, the lines of questioning, they all come back to masculinity and being a man. So when that becomes a question, when gender and being a man becomes a question, that means that it gets mixed up with everything else that is going on. So you fail, not simply as a person, you don't just say, I'm failing or I don't have prestige or I don't have enough control over my life. Instead you say, I'm failing as a man. I don't have control or I don't have prestige as a man. So, or I'm, I want to succeed as a man. I want to be, I, haven't, I want to fulfill these ideals. In other words, I want to live according to these standards of an alpha male. So these four characters, they all have, they're operating based on standards, ideals, values that you could refer to as alpha male-like traits. So these are the guiding, the guiding lights that they might be using. Or they might realize that these guiding lights or these principles do no longer work in the, in the actual world that they are living in. So they, need, they realize that they need to respond. They need to respond and some of that response, responding, some of their responses could be uh, reactions, some of that could be they, they adapt, they revise their concepts, they revise their ideals, they re revise what it means for them to be a good man. So that's why, to me, the title Alpha Male is doing some work. It is not called, the show is not called Ordinary Men because it is pointing to the masculine ideals. Being a man or being a woman, being anything, being a doctor, being a teacher, it involves working implicitly, at least implicitly, with some ideals of what it means to be a good thing in that category. And for being a male, one ideal that many people live by is that ideal of alpha male. The couple of things I didn't like as much. The first one, I didn't like the prominent role of that seminar in the story. The seminar about masculinity, the deconstruction of masculinity with that goofy uh, seminar leader with that funny hair and I wasn't sure if that guy was the, the leader of that seminar was being presented as a fraud or as a, partly as a fraud, as a businessman and who is opportunistic, taking advantage of confused guys at the time. I liked that it was, he, he was not a guru that was unambiguously a great, a great guy. I was happy with that, but in general, I wasn't happy with how much they gave, how, how big of a share of the story they gave to that goofy seminar leader and the Goofy Seminar in general. Even though at the end, there was a message in the seminar that I liked, at the very end, very, very end, and I think last episode, the seminar leader said a few things that didn't need to be said, but they were okay, they were fine. But in general, too big of a share was given to the seminar. That's one. The second thing that I, 
I wish there was more of in the show, these like silent, relatively more silent moments where one or some of the guys would just sit in silence, just sit a little bit, linger in a moment. I wanted to see a little bit more quiet, quieter conversations, a few more quieter conversations in the show where deeper communication, more, more patient. It was a little bit too upbeat. Again, I liked that it was in general, the show, the story was upbeat, but it didn't have to be so continuously upbeat without any break. There was a scene in the one of the episodes where one of the characters, I think it was Pedro, he's talking with his parents and the parents are asking him for money to buy a luxury boat. And even though he doesn't have the money, he can't afford to give them the money, he does give them the money and he, he doesn't tell them that he's out of job. So that, is, that was a very good example of how the ideal of being an alpha male, being a provider, being a secure source for the family is more important for the characters at some point than what is actually happening. So being an alpha male is more about the image, in some cases at least. Uh, and that image influences and determines that what the characters do. If you have watched the show, if you have other thoughts on it, I would love to hear them. Please leave your comments below. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon page. And that's it. Take care of yourselves and until next time.